Hey guys, welcome to Morton Automotive. Today we're working on our neighbor's plow truck here, helping him out. And this thing's been having some issues with fuel pressure. So we've gone through a lot of the basic stuff. We did a basic tune up on it to make sure everything was okay. So as soon as you started to really give it some throttle, it would start to cut out, misfire. And to us that really indicated that there was a fuel flow issue. Fuel pressure looked good. We changed the inline fuel filter, so we're starting to run out of ideas, but it really was acting like it just wasn't getting fuel fast enough, even though the pressure was good. So what we're gonna do is pull the tank out of the truck, and that's gonna allow us to get a look at the pump itself to see if there's something going, on, going wrong with the pump. And it will also give us a chance to look at the strainer or the, the in-tank sort of pre-filter that's ahead of the pump, because sometimes that can get clogged up with dirt. Uh, and that would kind of explain the issue that we're seeing because you know, sometimes when we shut off the truck, it's been giving us trouble because we'll shut off the truck, put the code reader on it, check to see if there's any codes, see if there's anything wrong, do some tests, and then afterwards it'll improve for maybe even a whole day. Um, and so if there's something that's kind of floating around in there that you know, takes some time to get sucked back into that pre-filter, that's something that we've seen on a couple vehicles before. So we're gonna try that, and uh, so we'll go to the video on that. <laughs> Before that, we did a fuel uh, fuel flow rate test uh, where we actually measured the fuel coming out of the pump with just disconnected uh, from the fuel rail. And it was coming up way lower than what it should be. It's supposed to be about 50, 40 to 50 gallons per hour. And what we were seeing was closer to 10 to 15. So well below what the pump's rated for, which makes sense why we're getting the truck would starve out. It would idle fine, it would drive okay, but as soon as you needed some real power, it, would, uh, it just couldn't make any power and it would kind of fall down and start stumbling. So we, pulled, we dropped the tank out, we pulled the fuel pump, and everything, this is actually new. This was put in here uh, probably about a year or so ago. But what you can see is if you look way down in there, it's really hard to see on the camera, but there's a little sock in there or a filter, and you can see it's all black and just filled with crud. And so what this is, is it actually was sucking up dirt that was in the bottle, bottom of the fuel tank and clogging up that filter and causing it to pump slow. And that's why sometimes when we'd shut the truck off for a while, you know, it would run fine later. Uh, you know, it'd sometimes recover itself because the dirt would sort of sink, sink back down out of that. But then as you drive and he drives, you know, eight hours at a time doing plow work and all that, it would slowly suck all that back up until it just would run worse and worse. And then, like I said, by the time he brought it over to us and we looked at it and messed around with it, some of the dirt would fall down, it would run okay. So it was kind of a big mystery for us. But looks like that's the issue. So we're gonna replace that filter that's in there and send him back on his way. So we got this all apart here. And what you can see is now we can actually get a better look at that sock there. So you can see there was some dirt that had gotten into the fuel tank at some point and this is all just collecting in there and basically restricting the flow. And we replaced the inline filter because we suspected fuel issues. So we replaced the inline filter, that's an easy job. We didn't see any improvement from that, but you can see down in there, there's all kinds of, there's just mud down in there. So we're gonna have to rinse out the whole tank and get a fresh filter for it. <laughs> 